Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. Today we are going to talk about interrupts. And interrupt uh, it's a way for you to execute some piece of code when some external event occurs. And by external events I refer to change on some of your pins. So in order to use interrupt you need function attach interrupt. First argument is going to be pin where you want to detect your change. So I'm going to use D1 for this purpose. Second argument is going to be name of function that is going to hold uh, code for execution. So I'm going to call it change. And the third argument is going to be mode. So about modes, uh, there are five modes for this purpose. We have mode low. If you use mode low, function change is going to be executed when you detect low on pin D1. Opposite from low, it's high. So function change is going to be executed when we detect high on pin D1. Uh, there is rising. So when we detect rising voltage on pin D1, function change is going to be executed. Opposite from that, it's falling and we have one more that we are going to use for uh, this purpose that is change and I'm going to add change in here all right so what this means my function change is going to be executed whenever we detect any change on pin d1 and I'm going to use serial monitor to print my results baud rate of 9600 and I want to print something uh, continuously print ln let's say timer and delay of 3 seconds all right and now I have to create that function change and uh, that function needs to be created in specific ways so it's going to be void and this function cannot take any kind of arguments and this function cannot return any kind of value and it must be of type ICA CHE underscore RAM ATTR and name of your function change okay And one more thing, if you want to use some uh, variable in uh, this function, that variable must be of uh, same type. So in order to create variable for this function, I'm going to use ICA, CHE, RAM, ATTR, integer, counter, like this. And I'm going to set it to zero. And now I'm going to print serial, print ln so something has happened and I'm going to print one more thing value of counter and I'm going to rise that value by one on every change and now I'm going to upload this code to my microcontroller. Okay, now I'm going to open my serial monitor. Clear output. And let's see what we have. So we are going to uh, get a timer printed to our serial monitor on every three seconds. And now I'm going to connect the uh, wire to my pin D1. And first I'm going to connect that very same wire to 3.3 volts okay something has happened and zero and now when I uh, move that wire to the ground okay something has happened and one and once again to 3.3 volts all right once again to the ground all right okay I'm going to close my serial monitor so guys, uh, that's all for this episode. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.